Mouse out of Anderson, South Carolina, speaking with Danielle Roberts, who's the proprietor of Soul Farms. And boy, what a field of sunflowers we have. Thank you, thank you. We have about five acres right here. And this started out in the backyard in town, I think. It did. Tell it us did. a little about your story. Well, we just had a little family uh, backyard garden and uh, we grew lots of things, tomatoes and cucumbers, but we also always wound up with a nice big long row of sunflowers just for the fun of it. And it just sort of was maybe the beginning of something much larger. Well, originally I think your daughters used that as a way to help fun going to college and things like that. Tell us how they started getting these flowers to the market. Okay, well they did. Um, we, we built them a little garden of their own and we helped them learn to grow the sunflowers and they would harvest them and take them to our local farmer's market. And they got a little pocket change, had a little money to take with them to college and uh, learned you know, a valuable lesson in hard work and it turned into something that we all loved. But those girls have gone on to careers and you had an interest in local organizations that were supporting families and children issues. That's and right. I believe your husband was on a foundation that you thought maybe you could help support. That's right. We, uh, we've always been very involved in the community and, and we love where we live. So um, we wanted to do something to sort of give back. You know, we like it here, we raised our children here, and it was just a thought that maybe we could do something on a larger scale to return a little bit of that back to our community. And um, you're right, my husband does sit on the board of the Foothills Community Foundation, and it was a great place for us to put the money so that it could go out into this community and do the most good for the most number of people. And that supports three counties, I believe. That's right, Anderson, Oconee, and Pickens County. And the goal of community foundations is to encourage people to support local charities that where you can really see where the effect is going to be made. That's right. Well, how do you market these flowers or take donations for them? Okay, well, we have a Facebook page, Soul Flowers of Anderson. And we did most of the marketing just through Facebook. Um, we don't do a lot of advertising, very little um, advertising of any other kind, but the Facebook page opened us up to all kinds of publicity. So not only were we reaching a, a number of people with our Facebook page, we were also gaining some interest from uh, newspapers and, and news stations who would come out here and do things. And, and it really helped the word spread and Again, you know, just with very little paid advertising. I believe two weekends of the year people are invited to come out here. That's right. We plant the seed late in April because we know that's how long it will take them to come in right around the 4th of July, which is the week we like to have the event out here. We have people come out on the weekend before and the weekend after. They're invited to come out, take pictures, stroll through the fields, and just enjoy all these gorgeous sunflowers. And you have people helping you cut the flowers and at a station, they're ready for people to um, trade for a donation to the foundation. That's right. We'll cut the flowers and bring them up out of the field, and then they'll be cleaned up real nice and bundled up and prepared for people to take them home. How much have y'all been able to give to the foundation? Well, to date, and we don't know what this year's proceeds are yet, but in the prior three years that we've done this, uh, we've raised over $30,000. And this is because people allow you to use the land at no cost. Someone helps you with the equipment, That's planting. Right. That's right. We have a family that allows us to come out here and use their land. And um, we have some great farmers that come out and help us with the planting and with their equipment and get the field looking real nice for us. Now, this is not a forest type sunflower, and there's some advantages to that for you. That's right, Amanda. These are production sunflowers. And by production, I mean these are used typically for sunflower oil. But the, the advantage to me is that they're less expensive and they're great pollinators. The pollinators out here are just phenomenal. It's so <laughs> exciting to see them. Yeah. We see butterflies and all kinds of bees and different things on them. And then, of course, um, one of the things is that most people think sunflowers follow the sun, but because this is such a big, strong sunflower, tell me how it acts. Well. Early on, you may see a little uh, little bit of Twist wavering and <laughs> yep. uh, while the plants are young and tender, but as they get more and more established, 
this particular variety is going to all face to the east. And that's because they have such a great big flower head full of seeds, mm -hmm. they really have to have a strong stem to support that. That's right. What do you do about, I don't see irrigation, what do you do about water? We just, we depend on rain. And uh, luckily we've had some great rain this year. We had a, a nice amount of rain right after we planted and then a few more smaller rains to come through. The, the rain has everything to do with the height. The flowers look good no matter how much water they get, but if we can get some good rain, we can get some nice height. I think people like to come out and take photographs too, don't they? They do. We have lots of people that come out to do family photographs. Um, moms bring their iPhones. We have professionals that come out and do professional photography out here, so we see a lot of that. Danielle, if people want to know more about you and what your family's doing out here, what's the best way to get that information? You can go to our Facebook page, Soul Flowers of Anderson, South Carolina, and that's S-O-L Flowers. Um, also, you could go to the Foundation's website, which is foothillscommunityfoundation.org. Well, thank you for what your family's doing to support good causes in Anderson, Oconee, and Pickens County, and thank you for sharing your story with us today. You're welcome. Thanks for coming out today. Mm -hmm.